Hello, it's uh, scroller box time again. Came through my door this morning, so um, yeah, let's get stuck in. There was, I don't know, feeling like there's pencils in there, but I'll have to see what I can see. It's, uh, Exciting. Oh, looks like pencils or something, maybe watercolour pencils. They look like they've been. To one side. She's got the zine. That's, uh, that's a cool little bit of art. Who's this by? Maisie Summer. Illustrator and animator working closely with clients big and small to help them communicate their stories personally and thoughtfully. Uh, some, I don't know if you can see that, but that's uh, socials. Oh, I think it might be watercolour pencils or crayons. We've got watercolour paper here. Hmm. Only 200 GSM. Generally, don't like anything lower than 300. I find it too thin and it doesn't take the water well enough. Um, so we'll see how that performs. Get this box out of the way. Uh, let's see what's in this little package. Ooh, oh, I like these. Like the cherry ones, so putting the cola one will be quite nice too. Oh, oh that's handy. I've got this, but it's running out. A bit of white gouache. Oh, nice small brush. Makes a change. I've had some quite chunky ones in the past. A Pro Art Polar 31 White Nylon. Sticker that's come off the front of the design rather than the artwork, but it's I think it's quite a cool sticker. And then we've got some Derwent fine art pencils. Hmm, I thought they'd be watercolour pencils. Is this just a generic box? Let's say what they are on the barrel. Oh, it's ink tents. Uh, in iron blue, lime green, baked earth, orange sorbet, probably can't see the writing all that well, can uh, olivine, and pink flamingo. That's quite an interesting set of colours there. Side. Have a quick look in the zine. Ink tents, water colour bit inks. They're, uh, yeah, these I, I think once they're dry, they're they're done. You can't sort of reactivate them like you can with watercolour. It's breakfast. Oh, this one's cool too with the dandelions. A bit about uh, Maisy Summer. And some tips for the Ooh, lost my words for the pencils. Um, yeah, it says do wet and dry. If I remember rightly, some of these pencils look very different when they're dry to when you activate them with water. And some ways to activate, ways to use the gouache. Um, some more tips, that's nice. A little like, little project to do, I like that. Uh, behind the artwork. Very interesting. I do like this artwork. Oh, and the um, fire and ice. I had fun with this box with the uh, 
find these quite awkward to use the sheets because they have to close them when they're wet to get to another colour. But do I know anyone that's in here? I don't recognise any of these pictures. Oh, Lady Doodlebug. Uh, and Sally Townsend. This one's cute. Yeah, some lovely stuff. Uh, and the uh, top three. Wow. Like this one. Like all of them. That's insane. Looks crazy. Uh, don't recognise any of these names, but very nice artwork. Uh, Maisie's collection. involved reading there so I like to um, gel pen I don't mind trying that I love their notebooks and we've got gather your thoughts uh, journaling stuff oh blimey it's an interesting prompt hodgepodge Scrawlers, what's in stock today? This month's box is all about documenting a patchwork of possessions. Take inspiration from our featured artists by collecting your thoughts, a mishmash of items or the ingredients of your day. Shopfront or jumble sale, however you wish to display your wares. Plan, sketch, mark, make and paint with all the supplies included to bring your collection to life. That sounds really fun actually, I like that. Right, so I'm going to get some water so we can swatch these. I will be back in a moment. Right, I am back. I just uh, remembered I've got a fairly nice little selection of ink paints, pencils here. There's some watercolour ones in here as well. But, uh, ooh, yeah. A nice selection of colours already, so I, I can add to my. Uh, what was that? Sherbet lemon, what's this one? Lime green, they're not quite the same. Maybe I'll have some duplicates, but yeah, add to my collection. And I was just thinking about the prompt, and it actually reminded me of some stuff I did a couple of years ago. Where's. to find day one but day two it's sort of like oh here's day one so currently listening to um, creating with it's all done with like fine liner and copics um, reading materials um, Um, oh, it's a little doodle. Don't rush, it sucks out here, getting distracted. Um, and do this one. Um, everyday endeavours, it's less items, more just things. Um, current cravings, oh, back when I smoked. Um, but yeah, that's. These um, this prompt reminded me of those, so I might end up doing something quite similar because I enjoyed those. Uh, but anyway, on with some swatching. So let's uh, try and dry first. What I'll do is I'll put two patches down. I'll wet one and. My little legami. What's this one? Pink flamingo. Lime green. Mm. 
olive oil. And they feel quite nice, quite sort of soft. Um, we've got the orange sorbet. Nice and vibrant even before they're wetted. Baked earth, oh, what was this one? Orange sorbet. Um, an iron blue. Is that going to be like a Payne's grey sort of colour? Get some water. Oh, really dipping it with the uh, little protecty thing on. Wet this side. Well, they activate nice. There's no, can't see any pencil marks under there. Nice. This uh, range of light to dark. I think I need a bit more of that. Oh, that's incredibly vibrant. It's almost neon that one. Don't know if you can see very well. Oh, well, it's quite an earthy green. It's, um, it was a little different to the previous two. No, nope, it's blending out nicely. I like how there's no sort of watercolour pencils. You can sometimes still see the pencil marks underneath when you activate them, but this is pretty smooth. Oh, you can see them a little bit, but it's not. Oh, wow. That's what I like about these ink tense pencils. They're incredibly vibrant and saturated. But look, you can get nice light colours too. That's what this baked earth is like. I think I would have preferred a darker brown. It's, I mean, it's obviously not the same as the orange, but it's in the same sort of, not the same sort of tone. Maybe My least favourite so far. Just feels too close to. Could have given us a bit more variation. Let's see. Oh, that's a nice. That, see, that looks very different when it's activated. It's much more blue. That looks darker. Um, let's see if I can get something like a black. Oh, I'm gonna layer the brown, the baked earth with the bit of this blue iron. Maybe sort of grey, um, no, like a greeny grey. Um, yeah, black would have been would have been good, I think. What if I just put some water down and uh, and draw onto it? One of the pencils. Mm. It's not all that interesting. You get a bit of bleeding. Mm. 
we don't want these to dry. They dry pretty quick to be honest, that's not looking too bad. Let's oh, it's a bit watery at the top there. So pop. Oh, oh no. That looks like it's mostly binder, that's not good at all. This is very, very runny. Um, can't really shake them, can you? I feel like the pigments got stuck in the binders at the top of the tube or something. Either that or they've completely changed the formula since I bought my last tube. Very runny indeed. No, and that's like basically clear, transparent. Um, don't know what's going on with this. That's that's pretty. Is there some pigment in there? Let me pause and get my other tube. So this is my other tube, titanium white, and this is zinc white, but just to, that's the consistency of this one, I can get nice bright white dots on there. I've just squirted out half the tube of this one and it's still Put my little pin and just give it a stir. I'm gonna lose the pin in there. What's that? Hmm. Definitely got separated, but I don't know how it's gonna perform when I've squeezed out half of what presumably is the binder and I can't get to the underneath can't can't shake it a little, just gonna break the tube I've just giving it a bit of a squeeze and a shake but that's I'll stick the brush right in. It looks like, like, like PVA glue. No, I'm not impressed with that at all. I don't know if my tube's faulty or something, but that's not working. Might uh, go and ask on the Discord. Because that doesn't seem doesn't seem right. I'm not going to be able to do much with it. If that's how it. It's more like giving it a varnish or something, isn't it? There's no. Oh, just put my hand in it. Yeah, a bit confused by that. But apart from that, lovely box. Ink tense pencils are great. Um. Yeah, look, I've just gone over all of that blue with the white and there's no... You can see the difference between my titanium white and the... What is it? Zinc white. It's like... No comparison, really. But these are cool. Um, if there's anything else I can try. Let's just try blending quickly. I'm going... See how this does. Yeah, that's worked relatively well. See, it's too, and I 
analogous colours. Not sure that's always get that word wrong, but yeah. So lovely pencils, not too sure about the gouache. Wondering if I've just got a, a dodgy tube because they well this this stuff's great and this one's not too dissimilar, so I'll have to ask some questions about that one. But anyway, hope you're enjoying this box if you've got it too. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon.